like to hire you. Well, I'm grateful. But I don't really understand. I, I left the force two years ago under very undesirable conditions. You were fired due to an addiction to crack cocaine. I've been sober for two years. But this is the undercover position, so you wouldn't have to change much of your lifestyle. I'm a mother, Mr. Washington. Is that the lifestyle you're referring to? Now, you were a mother two years ago, but that didn't stop I would do person. anything to erase my past. And I would do anything to erase what my son had to go through. Is that right? I didn't expect to walk in here and be attacked today. You call this an attack? No, we call it an opportunity. Well, thank you for the opportunity. But my life has changed a lot in the last two years. And with the risks of undercover work, I don't think this is a fit for me right now. You're sitting where mom used to sit. And then I can sit here when I'm creating the Sunday sermon. Really? You use my mom's death for your inspiration. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not going to fight with you this morning. Of course you're not. I had a vision. Hmm? What was that? I was chasing God. God! I couldn't catch him. Please, God. Please, God. Please, God. Maybe this is the end for me. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm not so sure. Crystal, we would- Maybe you're afraid of change. No. You betrayed me. <laughs> this place is like the world, but it's not the world. It's just spirit. It's a parallel dimension. The world is a place where people get to die. Their life has weight. We just want to- Speak for yourself. I just want to choose. I want to wake up and choose. When I look at you, I can see everything that I could be. You've clipped our wings. I need to pursue everything that is opposite of this. Do you know what the opposite is? Yes. It's me. It's me, realized. And you want blood coursing through your veins? Yes. After death. So are you a spiritual man? Vic Dishonor. What does it mean? Honor the vanquished. I honor those who have fallen to my sword. Do a lot of us fall by your sword? <laughs> I would never hurt you unless you provoked me to. Unless you hurt me first. Now, if that happens, no mercy. This is you, and this is me. And that's where we connect. You're very entertaining, you know that? I'm glad you think so. I do think so. Crystal, I think I love you. I think I love you too. Oh, well, then all that's left is for you to say yes to this. Yeah, but I told you that marriage wasn't for me. I don't do well with tradition. I struggle. We can struggle together. <sighs> Crystal, just think about it. I have. And I can't do it. Come on, let's go play cards. So all this time you just happen to have an ace of spades? Yeah. It's just dumb luck. <laughs> it's not dumb luck, because you're not dumb, that's for sure. Well done, Mr. Jones. Thank you, Mrs. Jones. Is it time for bed now? It is. Race you. If you want my professional opinion, these laws were designed to protect tenants from predatory landlords. If you want my personal one, it's that the laws can be easily abused, and the process to evict someone is far too cumbersome. So what should I do then? Exactly what the system allows. You begin eviction proceedings. But that could take months. It's like I said. Detective Stein, isn't there any way you can just arrest him? For? Lying, for one thing. Lying isn't illegal. If it was, our jails would be filled with 99% of the population. But it's illegal to lie in a tenant application. True, but that's a civil matter. And a suit will take longer than the eviction. What about the story that Faith told you about the girl from high school? What about it? He never mentioned it. 
On the application, it asks if you've ever been convicted of a felony. You have no idea if he was even charged. In any case, it's not a felony. It's a simple assault. Class A misdemeanor at best. Besides, you can't file on behalf of this girl. He has to have done something actionable to you. He threatened me? He did? Yeah. What did he say? I have it right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what are you doing? I taped it. Your conversation with Mr. Travers? Yeah. Did he know you were recording him? No, of course not. Well Do not play that for me, Miss Davis, and I'm gonna pretend that you never even mentioned it. I... California is a two-party consent state. You need a person's permission in order to record a conversation. Or what? Or you could be charged with a felony. This book is dedicated to my mentor, Dr. Elizabeth Summers, who taught me everything I practice. Veronica, you didn't have to do that. I wanted to, and it's true. I love you. What's the matter? You don't think I should have written that about you? No. It's wonderful. Everything you do is so wonderful. Then what is it? They laid you off? My boss didn't even have the guts to tell me in person. Instead, I get a form letter from the state capitol. You were their lead psychiatrist in their psych unit for what? 12 years. It's a government job. How can they do that? Budget cuts. They can do it. So what are you going to do now? I don't know. Hey, maybe you can start your own practice again. Or, or find another state hospital who needs somebody like you. I'm not a kid anymore. Do you really think that for a woman my age, either of those scenarios are a remote possibility? Sorry. I was just trying to stay positive, like you taught me. <laughs> yeah, like I taught you. Congratulations. Thanks. We should order. That guy was an asshole. He pinched me. That guy was a high roller. And every time he come in my club, he spent five Gs. <laughs> okay. That's why he rolled up out of here. <laughs> so what? You got jokes tonight? You a comedian? Yes. It's obvious you don't want to be a waitress. So what are you here for? I want to have a lot of show on this trip. That's my dream. That's what I want to do. Mm, I hope not in that outfit right there, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be in this outfit forever soon.